for us to find the minors and cofactors of the given three by three matrix. Let's begin by determining the minors. Minor i comma j is equal to the determinant of the matrix formed by eliminating row i and column j. So minor one comma one is equal to the determinant of the matrix formed by eliminating row one and column one. Notice how this leaves us with a two by two matrix. M comma one is equal to the two by two determinant where the first row is four and five and the second row is negative six, nine. Let's go through and find all the two by two determinants and then we'll come back and evaluate them. To find minor one comma two, we eliminate row one and column two, which gives us a two by two determinant where the first row is negative two, five, and the second row is zero, nine. To find minor one comma three, we eliminate row one, column three. We are left with the two by two determinant where the first row is negative two, four, and the second row is zero, negative six. To find minor two comma one, we now eliminate row two, column one. Again, we have a two by two determinant where the first row is three, two, and the second row is negative six, nine. To find minor two comma two, we eliminate row two, column two. And again, we have a two by two determinant where the first row is one and two, and the second row is zero, nine. For minor two comma three, we eliminate row two, column three. The first row is one, three, the second row is zero, negative six. For minor three comma one, we eliminate row three, column one. The first row of the determinant is three, two, and the second row is four, five. For minor three comma two, we eliminate row three, column two. The first row is one, two, and the second row is negative two, five. And finally, for minor three comma three, we eliminate row three, column three. Row one is one, three. Row two is negative two, four. And now we will go ahead and evaluate the determinants because we have two by two determinants. We find the product, we find the product of the main diagonal and subtract the product of the minor diagonal. For minor one comma one, we have 36 minus negative 30, which simplifies to 36 plus 30 or 66. For minor one comma two, we have negative 18 minus zero, which is negative 18. For minor one comma three, we have 12 minus zero, which is 12. For minor two comma one, we have 27 minus negative 12 which is equal to 27 plus 12, or 39. For minor two comma two, we have nine minus zero, which is nine. For minor two comma three, we have negative six minus zero, which is negative six. For minor three comma one, we have 15 minus eight, which is seven. For minor three comma two, we have five minus negative four, which simplifies to five plus four or nine. And finally, minor three comma three is four minus negative six, which simplifies to four plus six, which is 10. Now that we have all the minors, let's find the cofactors. Cofactor i comma j is equal to negative one raised to the power of i plus j times the minor i comma j. So cofactor one comma one is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus one times minor one comma one. Well, the square of negative one is positive one and minor one comma one is 69. One times 69 is 69. Cofactor one comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus two times minor one comma two. The cube of negative one is negative one. Minor one comma two is negative 18. Negative one times negative 18 is positive 18. 
Cofactor one comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus three times minor one comma three. The fourth power of negative one is positive one. Minor one comma three is twelve. One times twelve is twelve. Cofactor two comma one is equal to negative one raised to the power of two plus one times minor two comma one. The cube of negative one is negative one. Minor two comma one is thirty nine. Negative one times thirty nine is negative thirty nine. Cofactor two comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of two plus two times minor two comma two, which gives us positive one times nine, which is nine. Cofactor two comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of two plus three times minor two comma three. The fifth power of negative one is negative one. Minor two comma three is negative six. Negative one times negative six is positive six. Cofactor three comma one is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus one times minor three comma one, which is equal to the fourth power of negative one, which is one, and minor three comma one is seven, one times seven is seven. Cofactor three comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus two times minor three comma two, which gives us negative one times nine, which is negative nine. And finally, cofactor three comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus three times minor three comma three, which is one times 10, which is 10. I hope you found this helpful.